Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a regular plan with me. It is not the first week in my new Erin Condren Vertical Neutral. It'll actually be the second week. I'm going to be planning for the week of January 4th through the 10th and I have had a little bit of a spike in my subscribers so I wanted to take just a few minutes to reintroduce myself. Um, Hi, my name is Kayla. I live near Kansas City with my husband, Drew. We have a four-month-old baby boy named Jensen. We have two miniature dachshunds, Colby and Linus. So they're my love and life. I will talk about them all the time. I'm just experiencing new things in motherhood and all that. So yeah, that's a little bit about like our family. I am a pediatric occupational therapist. I work in the school-based setting. I service four rural-ish districts in Kansas near where we live. My husband is an aviation mechanic and he's in school right now to further his education with that. I love coffee, craft beer, planning. I love to read. I just that's been my struggle, <laughs> trying to get find time to, um, that's been a bit of a struggle. I love to read. I've been slowly getting back into it. I'm doing my best <laughs> with being a new mom, but I also just love to binge YouTube and Netflix and chill inside. I also, actually, no, I don't enjoy running, but I do it, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, I am Harry Potter obsessed. My uh, four month old's nursery is all Harry Potter themed. Worked really hard on it during the quarantine, COVID, what you call it. But that is about it. If you guys have any questions for me, post them in the comments below and then I can talk about them on my next video. Uh, what I usually do is I plan out and I talk to you guys. For the most part, I've had to do a bit more uh, speed throughs lately just because a baby, but I usually have a list of things to talk about while I'm planning, so I try and keep things going, but yeah, if there's anything that you guys want to know, just comment below and I'll try and touch on it. I also sell Color Street for your nails, so I have a VIP Facebook group linked in my description below at all times, um, but uh, my nails are looking a little sketch right now, so don't hold that against me. <laughs> I am going to be using this kit from Creating & Co. It is from last year, so I am going to assume that it's not available in the shop anymore. I honestly forgot that I had it. It is this, like mischief managed Harry Potter winter kit. Um, yeah, I just forgot about it and I really want to use it. One, because I have it and I hate being wasteful. Um, but I kind of really love it, so definitely wanted to make sure that I use this up before I forgot about it again, and it's another year before winter happens. So, let's get into this planner situation. Um, I will show you guys what this current week is looking like, but please know that this is not what a normal spread looks like for me. Uh, I'm going to touch on this in a little bit, but I am like double planning right now with my old Erin Condren and this Erin Condren, so I didn't want two exact spreads that looked exactly the same because I had the same kit, so we're doing things a little bit differently this week. It's not, it's like a hybrid of a to-do functional memory, I don't know, but I just couldn't leave it undone in either planner, so... I always start with my headers, so that is where we're going to start, and I will just chat with you guys along the way. I do my best to stay in frame, but if you know me, you know I'm not that great at it. I'm just kind of looking at our color situation. I actually need to start with this center color if I want to color block, and those are the colors we have for the kit. Sometimes kits don't always lend themselves to be a color blocked kit but anyway um so yeah I introduced myself that was number one on my list so I'm already rocking it there I number two have spent the last day uh, and a half almost two days at this point because I swear I started on Sunday going through and organizing the stash of stickers that I had just not even put away or condensed since about October. 
uh, I had a couple orders that I had stacked up that I never actually even opened. So I opened those and put those away, organized them. All of that fun stuff. It took me significantly longer to go through than I had originally planned. Also, just moving in to my 2021 planners without completely neglecting the last week of 2020 in my planners, it's been a lot. I'm just referring back to my dates over here to make sure that I actually get the right colors down. Uh, but I am at a point where I feel mostly caught up. Yeah, things are still not like 100% organized, but they're going to have to do. Like, we just need to move on. And I was telling my husband last night, like, I literally cannot <laughs> let my planner stash go like this. I think for me, um, fun fact, I have anxiety and depression as well. Uh, not so much struggling with it currently, a little bit more of the depression side than the anxiety at the moment, um, but when things start to pile up and I feel like I can't easily get through the things that I need to get done, things go on the back burner. But I also am trying to give myself some grace. I am a new mom. I went back to work full time in November, so things have just been, it's just been a little off, you know? So I'm trying to be patient with myself and kind and all that stuff, but I don't ever want to get that far behind in my planner stuff ever again because it was a mess. And then this is the latest I've ever moved into my new planners ever like the week of the new year starting, so that was terrifying. Probably shouldn't do that ever again either. Part of it was I got my new Sweet Quiet Design Cricut Paper Co. collab planner and I wasn't exactly sure if I was gonna be using that as my everyday primary planner or if I was going to be using the Erin Condren that I had already purchased way back yonder. And I came to a really good compromise or decision I don't know what word I want to use there but I feel good about the choice that I made so obviously I'm using the Erin Condren vertical as my everyday planner um, for my home life and then the Sweet Quiet Design Cricut Paper Co collab planner I am using as a memory planner which is something I've never done before I did a daily journaling in the Amanda Rachley Doodle Planner all of 2020. I used it primarily to track habits and journal, and that was it. I didn't do a whole lot else in it. I didn't use it for anything more than that. But it just really wasn't fitting my needs for what I wanted. I wanted to put pictures in it of Jensen and the family and all the things that we do and just real life stuff and I couldn't do that in my doodle planner to the way that I liked it. So that is what I'm going to be using the Sweet Quiet Design Cricut Paper Co. planner for and I'm really happy because I've started it and aesthetically I really like the way that it looks and I'm feeling really positive about it. Um, I'm also switching out my Print Pression Weeks planner. So my Print Pression Weeks I was using as an on-the-go in between my work and my home life and it was the kind of planner that I kept with me and wrote down appointments and things like that. Guys, that thing got chunky. I have posted that several times now and I'm impressed with it. I'm incredibly impressed with how well that thing held up. It looks great still, but it's chunky, and I wanted something different. So I moved myself into a B6 rings. Well, technically it's a personal wide rings, but with B6 inserts, I'm, I'm working that out as well. Because um, that wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's what we have right now. <laughs> so, yeah, we are figuring things out, you know. Why not have a baby and, you know, your job is up in the air with a pandemic and switch out all your planners. Yeah, that's a great idea. Hmm. Something must be wrong with me. That was terrible planning on my part. Um, where did I line this up for last week, though? The bottom 
section is just sized a little bit different from the 2020 one. Uh, that's not helpful either. I feel like I had a pretty good... Uh, I think I probably for this sweet core design lined it up down there, but it doesn't quite work that way with the thickness of this washi strip, so we are just going to kind of eyeball it. And I think I feel like I have to start it on the inside of the black. So yeah, this is still pretty new to me as well, this planner, because I've only had one week of practice in it. And just figuring out the lines. Yeah, I probably should have scooted that over a little bit just to center it. And this bottom washi is pretty transparent, but that's okay. Also, mom brain, I don't know now what I was talking about, so that's always fun if you're here for that because I never remember and then I go back and edit and I think I see this like, just about every video um, that I'm going to feel real dumb when I go back and edit, but it's the truth. This is real life. So yeah, that's kind of my plans for 2021, but let me tell you guys, like, I have six planners going right now and thank goodness, like, work is not a thing because I also have a work planner that I'm still going to do a mock spread with you guys. I wanted to share share with you guys how I'm using it. I just haven't done that yet. I was thinking about it while I was walking up here to film this. And I was like, oh, I should really do that. I forgot that I said I was going to do it because I think it's interesting. Okay. I cannot talk while I put down a clear overlay, so I'm going to speed you guys through this part. Alright, let's move on from that disaster. Oh shoot, I forgot. I need to pull out some date dots. I have some silver foiled ones from Cricut Paper Co. I believe. Yeah, Cricut Paper... Cricut Paper... Cricut Paper Co. I'm going to use those. Um, and I also put down washi. So I really struggled. I have this like huge stash of washi. Um, but when it comes to silver foil, I didn't have a ton in the colors that I wanted. So I ended up pulling out this one that I always pick up. The reversed foil bows. I have this one in every color and I use it. And the day that it um, gets used up all the way, I'm going to cry. No, like, legit, I'll probably cry, because I, I use it so often. I love it. So, I may have started this in January of last year. I can't remember, but I've been putting a splash of washi at the top, and it just covers up some of that dead white space, and I really like it. So, here we are, still doing it a full year later. Which, I don't know, am I proud that... <laughs> I think I'm proud. Of course I would have used this already. I I don't know about anyone else, but I tend, seems that I always use the foil dates on the same days of the year or of the month because I never have, never like works out where I can use a full month. Alright, since I got those, I can start putting down the date covers here. So, I wanted to update everyone. I am going to be uploading my flip-throughs. I'm going to be doing a flip-through of my Erin Condren, of my Print Pression Weeks, and my Doodle Planner. I just have a hard time filming them when I'm not quite done with the planners yet. And I won't be quite done until Sunday, obviously. It's the end of the week. So... I don't want to film those with just an empty last day. I think I did that for 2019, and I think I regretted it. Like, I just was like, oh, and this spread's not done yet. Um, I could be wrong, but for some reason, that's what I'm thinking I did. 
but I will have all three of those going up over the next several weeks. I think I'm going to start with the Preparation of Weeks because everyone seems super interested in that one because I posted pictures of it. So I'll be doing that and then probably my Erin Condren and doing my Doodle Planner last. I just briefly touched about this on my Instagram stories, but I have to go through and put washi strips over some confidential information in my preparation week, so I did that. I only had a few spots where I had student names. Um, that was mostly during quarantine because not a whole lot was going on, but when I did Zoom with them, like I just used their names, which I wasn't sharing my spread during that time anyway, so it didn't matter because I was also pregnant and a lot of the stuff that I was putting in there I didn't want people to know yet, so it's okay. I went through and fixed that. For my doodle planner though, um, because it's all largely the same and it's my personal journal, I'm going to pick one week out of the month, out of every month, that I'll share with you guys and I'll just washy out over some of the personal information if there's anything that I need covered up. Some of the times I... I didn't really write emotional type stuff in there. It's more of a memory keeping, which is why I'm doing a memory keeper next year instead of the doodle planner for a journal. But I'll probably do that one last. I know a lot of people are interested in that one just because that is my most viewed video is my flip through of the doodle planner in general. Um, it's so crazy. It has over 8,000 views, which I am a very... I would say like niche plan with me plan YouTube planner person is that a thing I don't know I I really only do plan with me's from Sweet Quiet Design like every now and then I'll sprinkle in Cricut Paper Co or Creating and Co uh, but for the most part I really do just plan with Sweet Quiet Design so I know that I'm limiting myself with the amount of people that I will attract to my channel, and that is a-okay. Uh, but that is one of the... That is one of the videos that got me a lot of views. So I know that there are people interested in seeing it for sure. Um, and just how I used it for the full year. So I do want to honor that and and do that. But I just need to really make sure that I don't talk about anything that I don't want talked about during that flip through. That was very rambly, sorry guys. Moving along here, so let me quickly talk about my goals for 2021. Um, I don't want to call them resolutions because they're not resolutions necessarily. I hate that concept of like, it's a new year, a new me. In a sense, it does feel like a fresh start, but my 2020 didn't suck all that bad. <laughs> so I have a hard time being like moving on, but I think it just, it is, it's like a fresh start, uh, a redo, but I'm not even at a fresh start kind of place right now. I'm in a really good place for a lot of things. So... I think I just want to continue. Like, if everyone has to pick a word for 2021, I guess my word would be continue. Or, like, something like that. Because I'm happy with where my life is right now, and I just want to continue to grow and to be a better person and mom and coworker, and that's just what I want to do. I want to continue. So, and right here, it says continue with my fitness plans. I have been doing a post-pregnancy workout plan. I actually have already graduated. It was a 12 week long program. I finished that up and am restarting phases two and three. And I gained about 30 pounds during pregnancy and I just hit below pre-pregnancy weight this week and I'm really freaking proud of myself for that. So four months postpartum, I am now below pre-pregnancy and I'm feeling so good about myself. I, you know, obviously, I still don't like the way my body looks, but I'm getting there. Like, I feel so much stronger and better. And so I just want to continue with that. I want to redo 
the second and third phase and then see where I'm at at the end of that and how I'm feeling and move on. The program that I do, Glow Body PT, she has other programs that follow after uh, this section of post-pregnancy workout program type thing. So I want to see maybe where do I go with that or do I need to redo phases two and three again? Where am I at physically? Like, can I handle it kind of thing? So we're just going to play it by ear and go from there. Um, when I'm finally done with that, I take measurements and everything. So I have about seven more weeks of that before I need to even focus on anything. But I do want to work on adding in more yoga. It has been a goal of mine to do that for a few months now. But... That has not been a priority. Doing the workout program was a priority for me. However, I would like to work back in some yoga, more specifically for like flexibility than anything else. That's looking cute. Um, I'm gonna add a skinny strip underneath it. And then I usually write in what I'm currently reading, which will be two things. I'm still working on a book club book from August, no, September, July, one of those months, I'm, yeah, it's, it's not going, but I'm going to finish it in January, I'm going to do it, uh, it's frustrating that I haven't finished it already, but, mm, anyway, we're not going to get stuck on how much, <laughs> I wish that I was done with that book, but I'll have a physical book and an audio book, because, I will listen to the January Books and Planners Book Club book on audio so that I can keep up with the new stuff and not get behind because I'm focusing on a physical book. So there's that. Uh, let me briefly chat. We, before I get into this weekly nonsense here, um, we have a couple of family vacations that we want to take. We try and go to Colorado. Uh, every summer since my mom passed away, that's where we spread her ashes and I like to go back and visit it. And last year I was unable to because we were pregnant with Jensen and I just was very miserable and didn't think that riding in a car for that long during the summer and the state of the world at that point. So we skipped out, but we would really like to go for my birthday this year. Um, so we have that planned. We also have a cross-country road trip with a one-year-old. Oh god, um, from Kansas City to Philadelphia, and I'm nervous and so excited all at the same time, but we have that planned, and that's pretty much it as far as, like, vacations go, or at least, like, big trips go for us. Um, we want to continue to work on paying off our debt and just being in a better state financially. I think everyone, um, around my age is really trying to focus on that, so that's what we're trying to do. And there's not really any changes career-wise. Like, I, other than just being able to go back and focus more on my profession, <laughs> um, having a baby and working in the schools during this whole COVID pandemic has really been hard on me mentally. And I have, again, it feels like a fresh start of the semester. I got caught up a little bit right before break. I'm feeling much better about my job situation and not quite as overwhelmed. I'm sure it'll come back very quickly once work starts up next week, but yeah, I just want to get refocused on that. Get back in my groove. I kind of have a schedule going, so I'm I'm looking forward to the semester and working with more students again. So anyway, let's get into the plans for this week. I hope you enjoyed me chatting about all my plans for 2021 <laughs> during this plan with me. All right, so I am going to be doing a speed through of this part, uh, honestly, because uh, I couldn't decide which full box I wanted to use, and I rambled about that probably 30 times because there are nine full boxes in the kit. I use one on every single day and then one of like the quote box up in the corner, so that means one of the full boxes I'm not able to use. So I debated on that for far too long, so I am speeding through. Plus, Jensen is finally taking a nap, but I have no idea how long it's going to last because naps today have not been a thing for him, so 
we are going on. I had to add in the second row of glitter headers because I just forgot and I realized that I didn't have them down. I am still doing that postpartum, post-pregnancy workout and I'm keeping them on the same days that I normally would except for usually I do my cardio one on Saturday so that I can weigh in and take measurements on Sundays. But we are actually going to be out of town for haircut haircuts on Saturday. So I had to move it to Sunday, although I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Like today I was supposed to go out and do my cardio, but it snowed yesterday. So I ended up just staying inside and doing my ring fit. I figured it was better than nothing. Um, obviously there's still going to be snow on the ground tomorrow, so... I can't go out and do it tomorrow, but we'll see what the week, what the weather holds for next weekend. I am using the quarter box on the bottom of Wednesday, Friday, Sunday to mark down Jensen's bath nights. At some point, I think I'll quit marking them down unless it's a weird week where we're not doing it on Wednesday, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, just because it does seem to be repetitive, but also, like, my husband really needs the reminder right now. It's giving him, like, anxiety in the evenings when he comes home and he can't remember if it's bath night or not. So, uh, the workout typography stickers are from Sweet Core Design. That Steps typography sticker is from Cricut Paper Co. And the Kawaii Workout Girls are from Fox and Cactus. They are my absolute favorite. Again, at some point I'll switch those up, but I just have been really loving how they just work with every kit. The Build New stickers this week are from Let's Plan It. They were just the most neutral ones that I had. So I am going out of order here, but I am putting down the double full box on the weekend. Uh, so I had to move some things around on Sunday just to space it out better. But I'll be going back to Monday here in just a second. I just had the opportunity to put down that double full box, so I decided to go for it. On Monday, the only things that I had going on is that I water the plants, so that watering can sticker is from Sweet Quiet Design, and I water the plants on Mondays and Thursdays, and a uh, full box. This is where I, I like sat here and was like, I don't know which owl sticker I don't want, or maybe I don't want the Daily Profit or the suitcase. I don't know. So I decided to just go in order of the stickers and leave it at that. I'm trying to think of what I had planned for Monday, but I can't think of anything. Um, oh yes, I remember now. I go back to work on Monday. It is a teacher in-service day, so I don't actually have any students to see, but I do have a all district-wide, company-wide Zoom meeting, so I put in that Zoom sticker from Sweet Quiet Design, and then I'll be picking up groceries after that Zoom meeting. Um, that grocery sticker was from the kit. Then I realized, like always, that I didn't have my sidebar done. So I added in the reading mug from Creating & Co, and I don't remember where that podcast sticker came from. It came from one of the boxes from the Books and Planner Book Club group. That reading sticker down there is from Fox and Cactus. I am really going to try and keep, at least if I can read like 10 pages a day, like I will be so happy. And then on my second habit tracker, I was trying to decide what exactly I wanted to track. I think I ended up going with cleaning. Yep, I went with cleaning against my better judgment. I don't think that I'm going to have enough time to film all my flip throughs, get those uploaded, clean the house, read and I'm just kind of feeling like the house can just slip for a week and then we'll get caught back up next week. But uh, I do need to take the trash out on Tuesday. And then I needed to put in $2 Tuesday and Freebie Friday for my PR for Sweet Quiet Design. And then the only other thing on Tuesday is that we're planning to go to my dad's house for dinner at this point. Uh, we had to cancel last week because my bonus mom wasn't feeling all that well. So that's okay. I just wanted to put it in there because we're planning to go to dinner. So we'll just see how everyone is feeling come Tuesday. But I'm using that little utensil sticker from Sweet Quiet Design. And then the dinner typography is from Cricut Paper Co. I 
totally know the difference between Cricut Paper Co. and Creating & Co., but my goodness, guys, when it comes to saying it, I'm like, oh, which one is which? Uh, going on to Wednesday, I do need to give the dogs their flea and tick medicine. That sticker is from Little Pity Paper, and that water bottle sticker is from Sweet Kawaii Design. Going on to Thursday, we don't have anything planned, so really just kind of putting down functional stickers at this point. Um, I go on a rampage here, not a rampage, I guess it's, <laughs> it's not angry, it was a ramble, on going to Wichita this weekend for our haircuts. Normally, before Jensen, we would just get up super early in the morning Saturday, we would drive down there and then come back on Sunday. Well, with Jensen, we've had to start thinking about what is the best way to get him there without ruining his sleep schedule. So I think what we've decided is that we're going to leave uh, Friday night just late. We don't like driving at night, but if we leave at his bedtime, then he can just sleep in the car since that's what he's going to do anyway. But we'll see how that works. And then we're going on a trip the following weekend, so we will adjust it accordingly for that. The mask sticker and the daycare sticker are from Sweet Quiet Design, and uh, so is the YouTube sticker. So that is it. All right, there it is. So it definitely gets more filled out throughout the week for sure, uh, but it's a good start. And I really, I do love the colors in this kit and it makes me happy that I was able to use it this year and not forget about it, but that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching my plan with me's. Um, let me know in the comments down below if there is anything that you wanna know about me and I will definitely talk about it in my next plan with me. Um, but I do want to share with you that I do PR for Sweet Koi Design. Here is my current freebie. This is good through the end of January. You can use my code Kayla10 for 10% off your order, and then you'll get this freebie as well. Uh, I would recommend purchasing from Sweet Koi Design on either $2 Tuesday or Freebie Friday because you just get the best bang for your buck. New releases go up on the website typically on Thursday. Um, some corresponding kits that go with the $2 Tuesday sheets will sometimes go up Tuesday night, but definitely wait until Tuesday or Friday to order if you're going to. Um, but that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will be seeing you with three flip throughs and a plan of me coming soon. So bye guys.